hot and spicy chicken ready to be served up to the Nigerian public. How times have changed. Ten years ago, you would never have seen this. Hungry customers at a fast food restaurant in the country's commercial capital of Lagos. Like most of the people that come here, Yinka Awaritan has a very busy lifestyle. So restaurants like this one are essential to her daily routine. I remember my mom rushing home from work, you know, preparing that meal for my father. And you know, all the spice you have to put and then take time to cook. We don't have that kind of time these days. We don't have that kind of time to, you know, I mean, considering the traffic you have to go through to get home, then it wasn't this bad. But now it's so bad. You have to go through so much traffic just to get home. These days, most people just do takeouts. Chicken Republic has been in business since 2004. And the company now has 70 restaurants in Nigeria and Ghana. Its founder has learned a lot about what appeals to the palate of the Nigerian public. Guys here like the, you know they like to you know basically fill up. So you, we find that things like our bing, uh, our moi moi, which is more like a bean cake. Um, the rice is a very big option. Uh, we have salads. We have uh, different sandwiches that people also like for breakfast. We use a lot of African spices in our products. And um, I think that that's definitely going to take us um, ensure that we're able to beat competition. But operating in Nigeria comes with its own unique challenges. You know, we have problems with light, we have problems with water, we have problems with transportation of our products to inner parts of the cities. Chicken as a whole, you know, we have a shortage of chicken in the country because of the prices of feed, because of the prices of grain. I mean, you heard about the wheat prices recently. This chicken farm in neighboring Ogun State has seen huge demand for its birds. The chief vet says for the Nigerian consumer, the bigger the bird, the better. This Nigerian market, they will always, uh, there is a demand for bigger chicken. Why do they want chickens that are bigger? Maybe because of the culture, <coughs> the because yeah. of the custom. Uh, normally, when the chickens grow bigger, it will be a little bit fibrous. We can get the fiber, this one. Maybe the, <coughs> our people, they like the chewing, the chewing. more time. Better for the cooking <coughs> Better pot. Yeah. Better for the cooking pot, yes. <laughs> there are about 6,000 chicks here, and they're three days old, all of them. In their lifetimes, they'll consume about twice their final body weight in feed. This is our processing plant. This is the place where we process our chicken. Uh, that's the screw chilling machine. Where the, after the chicken is uh, processed, it's chilled before it comes to the packing area. There's a new contender for the fried chicken crown in Nigeria. KFC has come to town. We brought KFC into Nigeria because this market is ready. Our consumers are demanding it, they're demanding the standards. Nigerians are very well traveled, very well educated, and they're clamoring for this. And, and my hope is that with us, with KFC coming into Nigeria, the other brands will start following suit. As you can see, you get exactly what you expect from KFC. You've got, of course, the fried chicken. Uh, the fries, there's a burger here. There's also some jollof rice. That's a spicy rice that's popular in Nigeria. Now, when you open a KFC franchise, you're expected to expand rapidly. And this one in Lagos is no exception. They have three stores at the moment. They expect to have eight by the end of the year and 16 by the end of next year. The battle for the taste buds of Nigerians is about to hot up. I'm Mark Edo for Africa Business Report, Lagos, Nigeria.